This day in law, November 10, 1976, the U.S. Supreme Court approves the execution of Gary Gilmore, a convicted murderer. Gary Gilmore was an American criminal known for murdering two people. Gilmore was committing theft at the early age of 14 and was in and out of correctional institutions until he was over 18. In 1964, he was sentenced to 15 years in the Oregon State Penitentiary due to armed robbery charges. Gilmore was psychologically diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and psychotic decompensation, which lessened his sentence. However, within a month of being transferred to a halfway house, Gilmore was back to committing armed robbery crimes. In 1976, he committed his murders. Max Jensen was a gas station employee, and Benny Bushnell was a motel manager. Both men complied with Gilmore's requests. However, Gilmore robbed and shot both men in the back of their heads. October 5, 1976, Gary Gilmore's manslaughter trial began. His attorneys fought for mental insanity. However, they were not able to prove that he was not aware of his decisions. Also, Gilmore did not seek habeas corpus relief in federal court. And as a result, Gilmore demanded the implementation of the death sentence. On November 15th, Gilmore was executed by a Utah firing squad. Gary Gilmore is the first American to be executed in the United States in over 10 years.